for watching this video from Sight Tech Intermountain, Augmented Reality, Slopes, Depth, and Slope. The next option I'll show you is uh, going over to a slope that kind of has a, a tricky corner to it. We'll, so we'll put the transparency all the way up, touch, clean that off, and then we'll run it to there. So one of the other cool parts of this is the ability to go and see, just like you would in 3D, what it may look like in uh, a corner like that, for example. So if we zoom out here, or reach out here, excuse me, you can kind of see on the 3D view that there's a uh, little bit of a an edge that drops down in right there. Maybe what we'll do is go to the layers here and turn off the machine. So you can kind of see what it looks like, that design preview down through there. Well, we can see the same thing on here. So if we'd move the camera, because it's based on the camera that's on the cap, let's turn off a couple more things here. Turn off the machine boundary. See right here where the bucket's sitting, you can see that little transition right there. This just gives us that other option on the main screen right here. So if you come to this one right here, there again, you can't zoom in or out, but as we cut this slope right here, just gives us the ability to kind of see what's going on out there. Change that transparency back to a little bit more mild, about halfway, <clears throat> so you can still see the white grid lines. I'm not really cutting it, I know it's still about a foot cut, but I'm just trying to show the different options here. Change the transparency back to zero. You can still see the grid lines. Now that I've so shown some options of running an existing design, let me show you what it would look like if you did depth and slope. So in depth and slope, we can go ahead and do that uh, and unselect it on extra line work. So depth and slope, gonna go ahead and load that. Um, we're gonna start out with a bench heading. Let's actually change the transparency here. So on this, let's go ahead and uh, down at the bottom here, you can see the bench heading. Then we're gonna do a bench elevation. So even in depth and slope, it still goes ahead and shows up as uh, 
is something you can see there's a little bit of that light white behind the cam or what the camera can't see past the bucket obviously so the higher you go it will still it'll show that design out there that you've created so we can still go ahead and bench flat we can put a vertical offset in let's put in maybe just to do a four foot vertical or we'll go straight up show you kind of what it looks like so now you can see that design kind of up in the cab almost scenario where we would grade along the top of that cab and then it does show it when we're down in it uh, let's drop that back to zero and then let's put a negative in that Whoop. make that a negative zero so it's kind of hard to tell but it's down in the ground obviously we still have our cut fill right there so we'll put that back at zero if we do put a cross slope in it we could go ahead and hit here and I'll put a higher number in just so that it really shows it we'll do that into the right 9% to the right it does still show that design pitching to the side so as we spin because we are in depth and slope you can see it rising and we can see it falling maybe we'll put a percentage in this way maybe we'll put 9% down in front of the machine just to kind of show that, that that image that you're seeing does translate with all of that so it's pitching down you can kind of see that it disappears into the dirt out in front of us so as soon as I hit that back to zero boom and hit that back to zero boom so back and forth back and forth so pretty neat